Last night I timed this speech an hour and 47 minutes. <laughs> those that you don't know, it's mine and Jodie's 10th anniversary today. Since I asked her to be my girlfriend. That's why we dragged you all here on a Monday. <laughs> and it's cheaper. <laughs> a lot cheaper. It wouldn't be here if it was on a Saturday, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> and it's two years ago today that I asked Jodie to be my wife. So I kept it all on the same date, so I've got one date to uh, forget. <laughs> I mean, one day to remember, one day to remember. Um, <laughs> uh, Jodie and I met in the most romantic of ways. Um, it was at University Social. You know, these things are very classy. Um, <laughs> no, I was, I was captivated by Jodie immediately. Um, I won her over with my charm, my charisma. I was so funny. Um, but actually, the real reason why I won you over is because I was dressed as Tinky Winky from the Teletubbies. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, we were inseparable all night, um, you know, we chatted all night, we got kicked out of the club, probably Greg's fault. Um, <laughs> and Jodie and I sat in the middle of Cardiff City Centre, just sat on the floor, chatting to each other for the whole night. We walked home when the sun came up. Jodie may not have known it at the time, but I felt something then. Um, and it's, yeah, since then we went from strength to strength. Um, and uh, yeah, we're here today. It's too late to begin again to go. It really does only seem like yesterday when Jodie was born. Um, holding her for the first time was just so much instant pride and love. I felt 10 foot tall. And then today I walked into that room and I just turned into a, a blubbering jelly, I think. Uh, so that time for a guy was just uh, quickly reduced to, yeah, nothing. But um, two very, very proud moments. But every day in your life has been a proud moment for me. I ain't gonna catch that, am I? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, I've missed out a chance now. I love you so much. And you look so beautiful today. It's, it, it's really blown my mind. But, but thank you for just for being here. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rock Beer Manor on this very special occasion, the wedding of Ryan and Jodie 
The place in which we are now all met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. It's a tradition in this country for the bride to be given away. So can I ask today who gives away this bride? Thank you very much. Can you all please be seated? Well, getting married today is a proud confirmation of the love, the respect, and the true friendship that Ryan and Jody have for one another. And they now wish to live with the commitment that marriage represents, enabling them to start a new chapter in their lives together. You're holding the hands of the person you love and have chosen to spend the rest of your life with. These are the hands which will reach for yours in years to come. Strong and loving, tender and comforting, holding you close. And these are the hands which will wear your wedding rings as a reminder of the love you have for one another and the vows that you're exchanging today. So, Tom, I haven't met you yet. <laughs> Can we have Jodie's ring? Can you give it to Ryan, please? And then, if you'd like to repeat. Jody, I give you this ring as a gift. Jodie, I give this ring to you as a gift. I ask you to stand by my side. I ask you to stand by my side. As my wife and my friend. As my wife and my friend. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To laugh with you and to cry with you. To laugh with you and to cry with you. And to share with you. And to share with you. All that the future may bring. All that the future may bring. Lovely. Push that on. Yes. <laughs> well, Ryan and Jodie, you've both now made the declarations as required by law. So, I have the greatest of pleasure, best part of my job, to declare that you are now husband and wife, and Ryan, you may kiss your lovely bride. Mm. I would like to thank Jodie's parents, Sonia and Dean, for putting their trust in me and allowing me to be part of Jodie's parenting, a role I will always consider to be an honour and a privilege. The thought that you've slipped down the pecking order of importance in your little girl's life is never an easy thing to bear. Ryan, you're everything I hoped for my little girl. Your love for Jodie is clearly plain for all to see. And having gotten to know you over the last couple of years, it's obvious 
that you'll cherish her as much as I do. I happily concede and would like to say thank you, Ryan. You have helped me accept my new role with a happy heart. Last and my biggest thank you, I reserve for Jodie. This is easier on a practice. <laughs> <laughs> Not just for allowing me into your life, but also for accepting me as your stepdad. And I don't just mean in title, I mean for actually making me feel like your dad. If my bond with Jody can be gauged by the amount of pride I feel, then I can so easily say that in my heart, she is and always will be my little girl. Because I am so immensely proud of that girl that I've watched blossom into the incredible young lady that she is today. first moment that Ryan, Ryan met you, he, is, he has never shut up about you <laughs> at all. From day one he, he met you, he was straight on the phone to me, just constantly talking about you. And it's obviously the first time I came to Cardiff to, to visit you and he was so desperate for me to meet you and finally meeting you and, and seeing you for myself. I just know how amazing you, you are and you, are, you two are absolutely absolutely perfect for each other and I absolutely love you both. You mean you mean the world to me. Now finally ladies and gentlemen it, it does give me great pleasure uh, to ask all of you to join me in a toast to the bride and groom and we all wish you a long and happy marriage. We can't see what adventures uh, life takes you on for the both of you. Now if you could all please raise a glass to the new Mr and Mrs Burke. Thank you. Mrs. Burke. Thank you. Okay, most importantly, the star of today's show. It's me. No, it's Jodie. Me. <laughs> um, just deviating from the speech for a minute. Um, there's nothing that could have prepared me for watching you walk down the aisle today. Absolutely gorgeous. But no, no, Jodie and I are the perfect team. I truly believe that, and a great example of opposites attract. Jodie, you're driven, hardworking, focused, organised. Uh, I am not. <laughs> but I like to think that my laid back, spontaneous, happy to go with the flow approach um, helps you with, in, in some situations. Here comes a soppy bit. Right. Um, <laughs> thank you for coordin coordinating the big efforts on our big day. You were right, this is the best day of my life. Uh, your meticulous attention to detail and preparation by far exceeds whatever I could have hoped for. Uh, the last 10 years with you have flown by and I can't, can't wait for many more. Can't tell you how happy I am to call you my wife, um, as well as my best friend. You make me a significantly better person and I'm proud of the woman that you've become. You're the most important person to me and I love you very much. <laughs> <laughs>